everyone. So today I have donned one of my favorite cozy sweaters and I'm doing the full time cozy time book tag. I was not tagged for this tag, but the tag was created by one of my favorite booktubers, Samantha from Novels and Nonsense. So definitely go check out her original video and her channel because they are awesome. I will preface this with the fact that there are multiple answers to some of these questions because I'm not very good at making decisions and I wasn't in the mood to make myself make decisions deeply. First one is crunching leaves. The world is full of colors. Pick a book with full colors on the cover. And I've decided to go with my copy of The Last Unicorn because it is obviously golden, but it also has shades of browns and reds. And it has these cool kind of vine type things on it, which kind of make me think of fall leaves. So I thought it was a perfect choice. Next we have Cozy Sweater. It's finally cold enough to put on your sweaters. So pick a book that gives you warm fuzzy feeling so this one was one of the ones that i had trouble making a choice i decided to first of all go with ella enchanted because it just reminds me of my childhood it was one of the early books that i just thought this is one of my favorite books and it's also a fairy tale retelling of cinderella so fairy tales kind of give you the warm and fuzzy sometimes i also decided to go with secret garden just because it takes place in so many seasons and also the author, Frances Burnett, she has a very cozy writing style to me. It just kind of puts you at ease. And also I just love the characters and what's going on with this book and that kind of gives me fuzzy feelings. And then the last one I chose was Charlotte's Web because I just love the friendship between a spider and a pig and what they do for each other. And if you don't think that's a daring, I don't know what to say, but it is really, really endearing to me and it's got to give you the fuzz and the feels. Fall storm. The wind is howling and the rain is pounding. What book or genre do you pick during a stormy day? And I definitely probably on a stormy day would be reading one of these three books. Tuck Everlasting because it is short and sweet and lovely and has all sorts of meaningful things going on in it, then I would probably be also picking up Jane Eyre just because gothic romance makes me think of storms and I just love the story and the characters and it's very comforting to me. And then lastly, if I was in a adventure mood I'd probably be picking up The Princess Bride because it makes you laugh and it makes you have a fun adventure and it's got true love and it's just all sorts of warm and fuzz as well and also it's great to read when you're feeling sick so it's a good cover all so I'm definitely gonna be during a stormy time picking up one of these three books cool crisp air pick a really awesome cool character that you would like to switch places with I feel like what often makes a character initially really cool to someone is that the character either has epic fight skills or they have to overcome really really terrible situations and I'm not into doing overly much of either of those things but I thought of some really cool female characters that I would decide to go with and they were all pretty much for the same reason now even though I haven't finished War of the Flowers yet I am already at that point in this middle where I'm thinking it would be really kind of cool to be the fairy apple core in here. And also, I thought it would be cool to be either Evane from Stardust or Lady Door from Neverwhere. And really it's for mostly the same reason. They're all really kind of honest and very smart and they get out of situations because they're smart so you don't really have to have epic fighting skills to be them. You can just be really intelligent and you still won't have to be saved all the time. Well, I just 
want to either be a Neil Gaiman character or a Tad Williams character because their characters are pretty darn cool. And addendum, you know, either I, I'd either get to be a fairy, a fallen star, or just a cool lady of the underground of London. So that just kind of sounds awesome to me. Hot Apple Cider. Pick a underhyped book that you would like to see become the next big thing. I decided to go with the Mirrorwood Trilogy by Jeff Wheeler. These were just really fun books that I loved reading and they were great adventures and I just want other people to read them because they were awesome. I still need to read the new trilogy he has written in the same world. I'm really excited to get to that eventually because I enjoyed the books of the original so much. I definitely would like those to be more well known, shall we say. Next we have coats, scarves, and mittens. Name a book that when you read it in public you feel like hiding the cover. Uh, I'm definitely going to go with any book in the Georgia Nicholson series. These books are very funny and amusing and lovely, but I decided that if I was ever going to finish the series in its entirety, I was probably just going to purchase all the books and ebooks because their titles kind of sound weird at the first glance. There are things like Angus Thongs and Full Fronting Frontal Snogging and on the bright side, I'm the girlfriend of a sex god and, you know, dancing in my nudie pants. And it's just the titles <laughs> kind of make them sound like they're weird when they're really not. And so you feel like awkward reading them and showing the book cover to the world. So I thought, yeah, just gonna get those in ebooks. <laughs> and we have Pumpkin Spice, which is the non-book related question, which is what is what is your favorite comfort food to have in the fall? And really when I think of comfort, I usually think of tea. I particularly love drinking the Sweet Harvest Pumpkin tea that's made by Celestial Seasonings. It's black tea, so it gives you a little bit of energy. There's a little bit of caffeine in it for those kind of gray days. In terms of food, though I love anything with potatoes and I also love pie. I'm usually a cheesecake person, but in the fall, it's all about the pie. I don't even care what flavor the pie is, just pie. Lastly, we have warm, cozy bonfire. Who do you wanna share the warmth with? And I have decided to tag a new booktuber who is named AJ. She has a channel called A Stitch in Time. I think she would enjoy doing this tag. So I tag you, AJ. And that is it for the full time cozy time book tag. I hope you enjoyed watching this and thank you for watching and I will see you next week.